how to add a custom product page into Shopify. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you what we can do. If you want to sell your stuff in an online store, if you want to sell in a specific product and just have a custom page for that, you came into the right place. So let's get started. The very first thing that I need to do is to have my Shopify account already created. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description just in case that you don't have an account and you can start totally for free. And not only that, you might be getting three months for just one freaking dollar a month with three months so once you are here into Shopify what you want to do is to locate the home section and once you are here what you want to do is to try to fill all the setting up guide which are in my case eight tasks that need to be completed so it's gonna be parent products uh, setting up your store and much more for example, we'd have the add brand assets, customize theme, add pages to your store. So I can strongly suggest you to choose the brand assets. So what you want to do is to fill here all your logos, all your squares, your colors, cover images. And once you have successfully done that, doesn't matter what kind of themes you choose into your store, it's going to be all your information into your store and you practically don't have to do uh, almost anything at all. So what we need to do is to create a custom page for my product. So this is an example of a actual store that I have just created. So what I want to do is to create a custom store, a custom actual um, for my actual uh, page, for my actual product. So as you can see, we do have the product, the price, the size, the quantity, out to cart, to buy it now, you have the description and all of that. So how can we do this? Can we do something else? We can actually try to start to customize our stuff. So first of all, what I want to do is to locate my Shopify section, locate your online store, and what you wanted to do after you have filled your theme, after you have filled all your information, now let's go back into products. Here into products, you can do um, import some print on demand, you can import some drop shipping, or you can import your own product. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using one of three. As you can see, this is a print on demand. So I'm gonna try to edit the product so you guys can see which one is which is. And lastly, I'm gonna add a new product, a manual product from uh, somewhere else, which is actually in here. So I'm gonna go for our product. I'm gonna do this manually. So I'm gonna go for manual, um, let's go for school backed. And here into the description, this is an example. Now, what I wanted to do first of all is to add the product in a manual way. So how can we do this is to go once again into product, here into add product, and here I'm going to fill out all my information. Here into the title, I have the description. Here into the medium, I want to focus into the actual product that I want to sell, which is actually this one. I can add more stuff. I can strongly suggest you to add from three to five images of the same product so you can see that there are people with more eligibilities, variants, and much more. So once you have successfully added all your uh, sections here, I'm gonna hit into the actual product category. And here what you want to do is to look out for your keywords. In my case, this is a back or school backed. Let's go for school back. Truly important that you choose collections. Here into collections, what you want to do is to try to look out for only one product if you want to feature this in a specific page. So you don't have to worry about here. Uh, I'm going to do this later. So I'm going to choose the section that says price. I'm going to set it up for, let's say, for example, this is the price, the compared to price to like this. And there we go. So what I wanted to do now is to hit into save. Now that we have one of each, I'm going to go into collections. Here into collections, what I want to do is to focus into just one item that I want to create, of course, a store, a page, actually. So what I wanted to do is to hit into create collection. And then what you want to do is to create only a collection of just one product so you can feature that in a specific page. So I'm gonna hit down into title. And here into title, what I wanted to do is to change or choose the name of the, the product. We're gonna go for bags, feature product. There we go. So we have now the online store, the point of sale, the collection image. You want to choose the only product that you want to sell. Hit into open and here it says collection type. I'm going to look out for manual. And here I can add manual collections. Is to choose the product that you want to add into your collection, which in my case, it's only these drop shaping silicone grip device. I'm going to hit into add. 
there we go so after that i'm going to go into i'm going to go back of course and then what you want to do now that we have everything successfully done is to add the custom page so i'm going to go back here into my online store here into my online store look how for pages and here into pages what i wanted to do is to create a new page specifically speaking about my product so i'm going to go for featured product now that I hit it into saved, it's going to be appearing the added to store through navigation. So I'm going to go into navigation. And here into navigation, if you want to add your product, you can do that into your main menu, which is here. And instead of choosing the catalog, I just go add menu item. I'm going to go for feature product. And here where it says linked, look out for pages, and look out for feature product. I'm going to hit into add. After that, let's go now into our online store and customize those pages in order to now set it up our product. So now that we are in here focused into the feature section, here where it says featured, I'm going to click here and here is my actual page. So now what I wanted to do is to hit into the template, hit into add section, feature product. And here into feature products, you can add in a specific product that you want to. If you don't want to do this, you can just choose this option and choose a collection. That's the reason why we choose a collection instead of a product. So there's two ways that we can do this. Either there will be a product or a collection. In my case, I want to look out for this dropshipping silicon grip. Hit into select. And we have the color scheme. If you want to change that, you can do this. I'm going to leave it like that. Show shaking daily color. And there we go. The media you want to leave it like that, after you have successfully done that, just hit into save. And there we go. Now, if I wanted to talk more about this product, I'm going to just head down here and I can add different stuff into my product. So I'm going to go for template and here I can add different blocks. For example, I can add some text, SKU number, custom liquid, product rating. And as you can see, it's going to be appearing in here as I am adding more and more sections. So let's say, for example, that I want to add a specific image. I can add an image banner which is actually this one, and it's going to be exactly the same product. So I can do, I can move this in the upper side so people can see this uh, stuff before they see th the product to start to buy. So I'm going to hit in here, I have the first image, I have this one, I'm going to hit into select. Of course, what you want to do is to add your product. But this is how we can add a custom page for only one product, or you can do much more if you wanted to feature more product for example, the catalog. So with that being said, guys, this is how we can get started by using those elements from our navigation bar, from feature content and much more. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. We have reached into the very end of the video. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully it was very useful for you. And well, I'll see you in the next video.